tell me your thought process when you decided to embrace the Catholics in Goa. That's the reason you came back to power. It was very natural. You, you got more Catholics elected than Congress party. Yes, but uh, even in 2002, uh, my, uh, in spite of fact that I didn't have any Catholic uh, except one, uh, my policies never discriminated no, that's based no, on... Uh, that's true, but politics, electoral politics is different because you know, I would like to believe that it was following this example. How do I know about Catholic? Because I'm a Hindu, so I know something background of Hindus. I can indirectly represent Hindu feeling right. or feeling of people from Hindu community into the government. How do I know how what they require and what so they? That's why you need there them in the government. There has to be have, uh, more people you, in the you, government. You need them in the government. Yes, obviously. Because I, I think two big changes in Indian politics is you embracing the Catholics and getting them empowered. And through Muslims a proper, also. And Muslims in we proper have a lot election. Of support from them. And in Punjab, Akali Dal similarly embracing Hindus and getting more Hindus elected than the Congress or the BJP. Those are big turning points. So you, at the same time, we see uh, last year uh, Narendra Modi not giving a ticket to a single Muslim in Gujarat. The giving ticket, not giving ticket, probably depends on whether you have got a credible uh, face. But you have to create them. So you have to create. You have to create. It's a perception that counts. So uh, there is a, there was a perception against, but I think that perception is slowly changing. The younger generation among the minorities also. They appreciate Modi and they don't go by the old propaganda model. There is a, I call it propaganda model because uh, every time you will find a lady uh, going to the television and making some statements, uh, trying to create confusions, trying to do. Uh, chief ministers don't or uh, the top officials don't do directions by telephones continuously. Right. With the CBI, the way they are, uh, it's a, such a humbug uh, investigation in that Ishrat Jaha case, where they are trying to cook up the evidence. You don't give te telephone call to officials for an encounter. If you do it, you do it in private. I, I don't give any instruction, but uh, that is logical. If anyone thinks of it, it's very logical. He won't talk on telephone because everyone knows that telephone record remains and all that. Mm. People are not that full. But uh, what I am trying to point out is ultimately this is perception. Mm. I was able to create a, a proper atmosphere much before the elections. And so was the Akali Dal in Punjab. He will also probably be able to do something at least before the elections. Do you, do you see Narendra Modi reaching out to the Muslims? He is. He is. I had a talk with Bohri community, they are very happy with him. In Gujarat, the one of the are a little bit uh, more pragmatic. Different. Uh, they, yes, are they are business oriented, business I know. Oriented, they are successful. But they are uh, I had talked with, some, I travelled in a rickshaw in Ahmedabad, incognito. I do that sometimes. Mm, the rickshaw man was a Muslim. And this happened actually, yeah, when I was leader of opposition, not, when, not now. And he was very positive about uh, it. Uh, I walked in Juhapura and I was not incognito. I did not hear this. I heard that, you know, we are being excluded. So I think Narendra, Narendra Bhai has to make a change in his mind. But do you think he's capable of making that change? Yes. Or yes. is it too bitter to make yes, that change? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. He is, he is capable and he is already moving in that direction. He is. Absolutely. So do you think, do you anticipate him saying something like you said just now, explaining at least what happened in 2002 instead of hiding away from it? See, 2002 will be a very... Uh, uh, I don't think he will ever speak on it because there are too many uh, Supreme Court uh, cases and too many ATS and too many other things. Um, for me to speak from outside is a different story. A person inside who is being pressurized by hook or crook, many of those investigations, if you realize, are leading nowhere except so uh, uh, getting some uh, popular news. So uh, CBI trying to frame IB. IB trying well, to we, face CBI. Even we have a strong this editorial Roman. view on that, that you don't mess with the IB unless you have very grave provocation. If, and if at all you do it, no, and it has to be cleared by the Prime Minister. Are you, are you aware what is happening? The internal differences between uh, intelligence agencies yes. is rising to a level where they will not give inputs. Yes, yes. You know, you're going back to 1962. You can't. This is Roman Empire before Caesar. Everyone trying to stab each, no, each don't other. Don't go that far back. Go back to 1962. You know, similar things were happening and these things are disastrous. But having said that, uh, 
I know what you're trying to say is that if Narendra Modi starts explaining 2002, anything he says may be misused against him in a legal case. So obviously, but, but that how does he make amends politically? Forget legally. That will. I think that you, the legal system we should wait for care. next one or two months. And just and, and, and you think he will? He will absolutely. He, he, he will take a leaf out of your book. Because you become a dada now in this generational shift of BJP. No, no, no. Not, uh, I don't consider myself uh, having a central role. But ideologically and uh, in thinking process, if I can contribute, there is no, no problem. No, that's because you speak your mind. You say things that everybody wants to say but doesn't say. See, I, I'll and, tell you one thing. And the RSS I, loves I, you. I, 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 I'm, uh, I am not attached to the post I'm holding. 